Hey guys, so here we are with episode 15, and in the last episode, they were dealing with Angel and the fact that his soul is no longer, well, is no longer there. Um, him and Buffy ended up doing it two episodes ago, and because of that, he, a part of the curse was that he was going to get a soul until he found like, even a sliver of happiness, and then once that happened, then his soul was going to be taken away from him. So, that happened, and, um, so he has, like, no humanity or whatever. Um, he teamed up with Spike and Drew, tried to attack, well, they did, they attacked, um, like, Buffy and all that. Uh, of course it didn't work out, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's where we left everything off at. So, of course, Buffy's, like, heartbroken because of the whole situation. And then, oh, Willow found out that Xander and Cordelia have been, um, like, making out or whatever. Um, and so I do hope that she ends up moving on with this Oz guy. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyway, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, Please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Oh, we got the cheerleader again. What you looking at? This is the eyes follow him or something. It's like its eyes follow you wherever you yep. go. I figured that's what he was doing. I like it. So did you like the movie last night? I don't know. T today's that was like one of my like favorite episodes. Popcorn. You know, you forget about them as soon as they're done. I would love to give me some of that Buffy and Willow action, if you know what I mean. Ew. That's great, Larry. You've really mastered the single entendre. I don't know what that means. Hey. Oops. Uh. Oh. oh, thank you, Thigh Master. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, she's got to be putting out. What's the point? Ew. What are you going to do? Talk? This guy is so <laughs> gross. Come on, fess up. How far have you got? Nowhere. I mean, he said he was going to wait until I was ready, but I'm ready. Honest, I'm good to go here. <laughs> I think it's nice Willow. that he's not just being an animal. It is nice. He's great. We have a lot of fun. I wonder if he's going to lie about smoochies. the stuff that they've done. Have you dropped any hints? I've dropped anvils. Well, you better hurry. I don't want to be the only girl in school without a real boyfriend. Well, Oh, I'm such yeah, an idiot. Yeah, I was going to say Buffy, too. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be talking about... Great. I'll give Xander a call. What's his number? Oh, yeah. 1-800-I'm-dating-a-skanky-hoe. <laughs> meow. Really? So I guess she already Thanks. told Buffy. I've never gotten a meow before. Well deserved. <laughs> Darn tootin'. I'm just saying. Xander and Cordelia? Ew, what does he see yeah. in her anyway? I mean, Cordelia's good looking. She's just bitchy. Okay, maybe not to me, but... Mm -hmm. And he's in a band, and we know what kind of element that attracts. I've dated lots of guys in bands. Exactly. Do you even <laughs> want to be here? I'm not running away. There is a beautiful, big full moon outside tonight. It doesn't get more romantic than this. Is something so supernatural going to happen, like a vampire showing up, or a werewolf, or something? Something's going to happen? Because that typically happens in, like, scary movies. What did I say? Is that a freaking werewolf, too? If it's a werewolf, I swear to God. <laughs> I need to go buy a lotto ticket or something. It growled, whatever it was. Maybe it's not a werewolf, but... Unless, what's the name of the episode? Phases? Oh, well, it didn't give anything away, so... I never end up even looking at the title of the episodes anyway, but... Okay, now I know I heard something. All right, that's it. You know, your mind hasn't been here all night. How about I just drop you off? <laughs> Right through the freaking. Let's go! 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 let us go I falls into that to switch column. Well, for now, but my guess is that this werewolf will be back at next month's full moon. What about tonight? He's moon? got a cold or something. His voice is different. Pardon? Okay, everyone get into your assigned groups. Is it 
teacher have something to do with it? Or the coach, or whatever she is? That's a lot with this show. What happened? We're in the same group. <laughs> I may have to attack you. No, actually, I think uh, in our group, there are a few of us. And I'm one of the few. Oh, good. <laughs> well, I think he is kind of afraid of Buffy because of that one time. <laughs> oh, Summers, you were turning me on. Ew. <laughs> and that works, too. And yet, ironically, uh, led to the invention of the moon pie. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> the I moon love pie. moon pies. <laughs> What's with Giles in this episode? No matter who this werewolf is, it, it's still a human being who may be completely yeah, okay. unaware of his so they don't or don't her kill condition. It. So tonight we bring him back alive. I mean, could the concept still not be for, like, I mean, I guess not vampires because they said that they're, like, demons and they're not really people anymore, but, I mean, same could be said about the, a lot of their monsters that they're fighting. I thought we might, uh, I thought we might knock on a few windows, uh, ask if anyone's seen anything yet. Do you want to knock on no, windows where anything. people are making out or doing more no. yes. things? Yes. Yeah. No. Of, of course not, no. <laughs> Poor Giles. He's so oblivious sometimes. Gotcha. Is it a guy that's also hunting werewolves and he just so happened to caught Buffy? Well, it's good to get the fruit while it's fresh. You'd be wise to take that back. Hey, what a man and a girl doing lovers laying at night is nobody. Okay, okay, yeah. hey, enough repulsive brain. It's not what you think. We're what is with this episode? <laughs> this guy looks like he's auditioning to be a librarian, and <laughs> you, well, no, you're a girl. Funny. I'm sure you, she's quite capable. Uh huh. The sexism in this Let episode. Let me ask you something, sweetheart. Exactly how many of these animals have you taken out? As of today? This little doggy ain't here. I guess he found another place. Sorry, wish I could help you. But you don't mm -hmm. know squat? Gee, yeah. what a surprise. It's, uh, what about the, um, the club? Where are we going? What is it called, the bronze? I think I know where to look. We just have to make it there before my furrier. <laughs> oh, it's angry. Everything okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I, I thought I, I heard something. I could have sworn that. It's okay. You can get pretty scary out here all alone at night. Yeah. He's gonna kill hey, her. Don't I know you from somewhere? Don't you go to school with Buffy? Oh, you know Buffy? <laughs> yes, I do very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, with Xander, it's always Buffy did this, Willow said that. Buffy, Buffy, Willow, Willow. It's like I don't even exist. I sometimes feel like that. And then when I call him on it, he acts all confused. Like I'm the one with the Why problem. Is he to Willow his do about I it? smell something look? All a part of his little guy games. So your hunch was right. Who's at Sunnydale's own house of hormones? She better get there before the other hunter does. I like how they shut the door right after she goes in. It's not gonna be the werewolf, it's gonna be like Angel or something. Or someone else. I don't think it's gonna be the werewolf. Oh, or just kidding. It is a werewolf. Let it get away. I didn't yeah. let it do anything. I figured I that guy was gonna show up sooner or later. Chain? What were you gonna do? Take it for a walk? It's gonna be that girl that Angel attacked, isn't it? Looks like it, I can't tell. Yep. Was that supposed to be like an offering or something? That's a weird way for it to sleep. Oh shit, it's Oz. I didn't even I didn't even think of that. 
I wonder if he became a werewolf recently then. Well, so he definitely doesn't remember the stuff that happens when he's a werewolf. At least not yet. I know what it's <laughs> like to crave the taste of freshly killed meat, to be taken over by those uncontrollable urges. You said you didn't remember anything about that. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I said I didn't remember anything about that. Look, the point is, is I have an affinity with this is, thing. I was that not the same head. thing? But we can do stuff to help. Sometimes it feels good to help. Uh huh. Well, like looking Except up for he stuff. he feels like he killed her. I'm gonna be doing that most didn't. of the night. You could help me help together. I can't. I'm uh, I'm busy. Oh, and uh, she thinks it's probably because so, of her. Like today. Hurting me isn't going to make this go away. People are still going to find out. It's going to be something really embarrassing, right. isn't it? What, you think you have a cure? No, it's just... I know what you're going what, through because though? I've been there. That's why I know you should talk about it. Now, that's easy for you to say. I mean, you're nobody. I've got a reputation here. Larry, please, before someone else gets what, hurt. What is, Look, if this gets out, is. it's over for me. Does he have a small peepee -pee or something? I mean, come on. Or is he doing drugs? How are people going to look at me after they find out I'm gay? Oh, he's gay. I said it. Why did I not think and about it felt that? Okay. I just, I thought it was, I don't know. I was thinking it was something I bad, like drugs or gay. something. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Xander's I like, can't believe uh, it. It was almost easy. And Xander basically like was anyone. like admitting it too. And then you, you of all people, you bring it out of me. It probably would have slipped oh, out no. even if Xander. I wasn't here. No, no, because knowing you went through the same thing, it is yeah. easy for me to admit the same thing. <laughs> it's ironic. I mean, all those times I beat the crap out of you, it must have been because I recognized something in you that I didn't want to believe about myself. <laughs> Larry, no, I am not. Of course, of course. <laughs> <There's> like <laughs> trying to get out of that. I did not think that guy was gay. Okay. Instead of not protecting Teresa from a werewolf, I was able to not protect her from something just as bad. Does she know Angel? That it was Angel, or just friends. that it was a vampire? Period. Buffy, you can't blame yourself for every death that happens in Sunnydale. Babe, I wouldn't even have a head, and Teresa's a vampire. <laughs> Uh. Angel senses love. Well, now she knows it's Angel. No. Uh uh. No, no. Okay, good. I was. <laughs> guess what I got if they end up kissing? Oh no, my life's no. not too complicated. He making silver bullets. That looks like. <laughs> that looks so fake. <laughs> oh, you gotta love shows from the '90s. I mean, if it was legit, he wouldn't be able to touch it because it'd still be freaking hot, but I get it. It's just a show. Who is it, Willow? Because instead of looking up names with me, here you are, all alone in your house, doing nothing by yourself. Willow, we'll talk about this tomorrow. No, damn it. We'll talk about this now. <laughs> Buffy Good told girl. me that sometimes <laughs> what a girl makes has to be the first move, and now that I'm saying this, I'm starting to think that the written version sounded pretty good, but you know what I mean. I know. I know. It's me. I'm, I'm going through some changes. changes. Well, welcome to the world. <laughs> Things happen. Don't you think I'm going through a lot? Ooh. No, and he's changing. Uh, Oz, what is it? <laughs> What's wrong? 
Willow, you know! Oh god. What's us? The werewolf. You said? Can't you just trust me on this? He said he was going through all these changes, then he went through all these changes. changes. Uh, where is he now? In the woods. Good, beat the shit out of that guy. <laughs> He's an asshole. You let the door hit you in the ass on the way out of town. We're probably not done seeing that guy. I don't know. I kind of see Oz as the loyal type. All I'm saying is she's not safe with them. If it were up to me... Xander? It's not up to you. Yeah. He needs to just leave it be. I know that his thing is that he wants Willow hey. to be safe. Hey. But... About damn time. I thought he was gonna go after her and kiss her. But there was there was quite a bit that happened in this episode. Um I didn't actually I didn't think it was gonna be a um I was gonna say a vampire, a werewolf. But I mean a lot of movies where there's like people making out in a car overlooking some sort of view or cliff or something, there's some sort of supernatural thing. So, I think I just, like, listed off, like, those two. So, yeah. But, anyway, I like this episode. This one, this one's definitely got to be one of my favorites, too. I like how they also included the cheerleader thing in the beginning. So, I'm wondering if the cheerleader thing is going to come back soon, since they mentioned that in this episode. Anyway. Um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.